Hi YouTube, this is Purses and More and I'm back with another video. I thought I would share with you this bag that I have and it's a cute little bee bag from Dooney and Burke. So if you're interested to see what I have in this bag, stay tuned. Okay, so let me go ahead and share with you the outside of this bag. This bag has the gold metal plate here. It has the Viketa leather straps. It does not have a crossbody strap. That's the front. Then you have the side. Here's the back. And then there's the other side. And here is the bottom. As you can see, there's a bunch of D's on here, and the B is supposed to indicate for Dooney and Burke, DB, for Dooney and Burke. So I thought that was really, really cute. On the top here, I did add some D rings here with the intention of adding maybe a crossbody strap. So I can hook one here and hook one there and carry it that way. Don't think I'm comfortable with that though, because as you see, as I as I pull up on that, it really pulls on the coated canvas, and I don't like how that is, and I don't want to wear, I don't want any wear and tear on those stitches there. So I probably will take these off and not use that as a crossbody bag. So let's go ahead and share with you what I have on the outside. I have my cute little bead um, sanitizer holder from Bath and Body Works. Inside here, I have Fresh Rainfall. That is the scent of the sanitizer. And I thought the blue went really nicely with the little bee's wings. This bag fits nicely on the shoulder. So whenever I go to get in this bag, I will have to set it down. That was the reason why I added for the crossbody straps. So I'm not sure if I have any other ideas on how I could do that. But anyway, moving along. On the inside of this bag, the opening is quite tight as you can see. The zipper only goes from there to there. This is a relatively small bag and I had to downsize quite a bit in what I have in here. So let's go ahead and share with you what I have, what I was able to keep in this bag. I pretty much realized that I carry a lot of stuff. so. First thing I have in here is my pen holder. I made this out of some leather and it just has a pen in there so it doesn't leak inside my bag. The next thing I have is my wet wipes in this little pouch here. And inside here I have the original scent for the wet ones. I have my tie to go pen, my Lysol spray, and my sanitizer in the scent ocean. This is just an extra in case I need it. So that's what's in here. Next. I have this pouch here, and I got this from the Dollar Tree. This just has pink butterflies. Well, it has pink butterflies, but it has it's pink and it has butterflies all over the pattern here. So on the inside here, I have my Band-Aids. Memory board with the cuticle pusher. My old school earbuds with the adapter on there. And this top home holder I got from Amazon a while ago. This is um, full grain leather. I have some hair ties. I have this lip smackers in the eucalyptus spearmint. I 
I have my headache medicine, my Clippa, some uh, Kleenex, and some lens wipes. And that's what the pouch looks like on the inside. Go ahead and put all this back in there. I try to keep my little pouch slim because this bag does not hold a lot. Okay, so the next thing I have in here, I'll share with you the wallet that I'm carrying. This is the Dooney and Burke wallet. This is a trifold wallet. On the outside, there is a pocket right here. Inside this pocket, I just have a Bath & Body Works coupon. I downsize my cards quite a bit just because I really don't need to carry all of them. So in this wallet, you have card slots here, card slots here. You have a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket under here, a zip pocket here. And this is where I think this is the information for the wallet. Share that with you. That's what the wallet is. And then it has a bill slot here. And I like how that snaps closed. The next thing I have in this corner over here, I have my keys in my coach five key holder with my key fob on here. I have my charger for my phone. As you can see, this lining in here is not, I don't believe it's tacked down. It's not tacked down, so it's kind of pulling as you can see right there. In this pocket here, this is a slip pocket and it has a zipper pocket right here. So in the zipper pocket, I just have the registration card and I tuck the key keeper in there. In this slip pocket, I would put my phone, but because I have all this stuff in there, it's just easier to tuck my phone in alongside my wallet. I just have my transaction registered there and this little coin case that I got from Amazon. This is a Trevor Lambo. This is, I believe this is leather. I'm not positive though. I can't remember the description, but this is where I have my coins in there. And it just has like that little uh, mechanism where you just squeeze and it opens. And this is in the, the pink. I know they had specific colors, but I can't remember what color that is. Okay, so that's this side here. On the other side, this also has a two, slip, two section slip pocket. There's a small slip pocket there. And then there's also a slip pocket, a tiny one right there. And it also has another zipper pocket here. Inside here, I just have this little pouch here and it just has some personal items in there. This is just out of fabric. And then I have the information from the bag. Um, here's the information for the bag. And then here's the information for the bag. It's a bumblebee bag. So just keep that in that pocket. And here we go. So. The bag is quite roomy if you don't carry a lot, of, a lot of things. However, like I said, I carry probably too much. Oh, in this little pocket here, this little, um, I can't see. In this little slip pocket here, the smallest one, I have this, the sort quick for the grocery bags. I have that tucked 
just in that little pocket there. If you don't carry a whole lot, this bag seems quite roomy. However, if you do carry quite a bit, um, you might have trouble getting things in and out. You have to Tetris your items. I did purchase this on Amazon and it came today and I thought this would pair nicely with this bag as well, this little planner. I didn't write anything in here just yet, but let me show you what this planner looks like on the inside in case you're interested. So on the outside, it's a planner from 23 to 26. That's year 2023 to 2026. Basically what that means is you have a calendar here. It's 2023 and it goes into a SEO review and then it has a list of your holidays for 23 and 24. Then you have the rest of your holidays there. Then you have a yearly overview for 2025, 2026. Then it has your other holidays for 2025 and 26. And then it has some contact pages. So you can write down some contact information for people that you need to contact possibly. Then from here, the calendar starts July 2023. And it goes through, this is all calendar pages. It goes clear through 2026. However, it only goes until June of 2026, which is fine. Cause by that time I'll probably be looking for another one anyway. That's quite a long time. And then after this calendar page, the rest of these pages, these are all notes. So you can write down a bunch of notes if you want. Just for various things. And then in the back here, it has this little pocket where you can put whatever you want to put there. It has a pen loop here. And then it has this elastic that you can put around there. And I like the gold with the black. And it has a little bee. I thought that was cute. So there you go. If you don't like the bee, there's other patterns. I think there's an astrology pattern with a big sun on there. And then there's other colors too in different planners. But I thought that was cute and I wanted to share with that with you as well as my little bee bag. So let me go ahead and line everything up so that you can see what I was able to put in this bag. You might be able to find this bag on the pre-loved market. Possibly. I don't know. I did not look. But if you don't, like I said, if you don't carry a whole lot, then this bag is a nice carry. All right, there you go. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it was a rather short video. However, I wanted to share this bag with you all because it's really cute. And as always, I hope you all have a great night and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.